Welcome to my video on how to take a screenshot and save it as an image file using Windows Paint. Let's get started. OK, now I'm using Windows 8 to give this tutorial, but I will be giving explanations uh, as we go to the differences uh, between operating systems, because you'll be able to do this all the way back to probably Windows 95. But I'll try my best to be brief, so please bear with me. Now, in order to take a screenshot, you'll need to click the Print Screen button. It should look something like this image that I'm going to show you now. Um, it will be located near the numerical pad. OK, so you press Print Screen. Now, once you click Print Screen, what this effectively does, it takes a copy of the desktop and it saves it to the clipboard. Now, we want to save that as an image file. So in order to do that, within Windows you can use Windows Paint. Now um, to locate Windows Paint if you're using a version of Windows before Windows 8 all you will need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of the screen click on the start menu go to either all programs or program files locate the accessories folder and you'll find the uh, paint application there but to do this within Windows 8 you'll need to go to the bottom left hand corner of the screen click on the start menu then type the word paint and then click enter now once paint opens up you just need to left click once on the blank page and then click control and V to paste the image into paint now we we'll need to save it so you to save it you'll click on file go down to save as now in Windows 7 or 8 you're going to get options here appear but if you're using an older version of Windows, then you just need to click Save As. I'm going to select JPEG Picture. Now I'm going to leave it as untitled, but I'm going to save it to the desktop so it will appear on the left-hand side. Now um, the save type is currently set as JPEG Image, as I selected that. But if you were using an older version of Windows, it would be BMP. So to change the file type, you just use, need to use the drop-down menu, change it to what you require, and then click Save. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found this useful. Please feel free to add a like or a comment below.